Psy Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to do a teardown of these wireless headphones. I want to tear it down to see if there's any useful components that are worth salvaging, and I'm also curious to see how it works. These headphones actually don't work anymore, and I believe the problem is probably the battery needs to be replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and tear it down and see if I can just simply replace the battery to repair it. But most likely, I may not be that interested in doing that, so I'd rather just tear it down and salvage for components, or reuse it for another project. Let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is remove the foam paddings and just simply take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, and this will help open it up. And there we go, the first speaker is taken out. And now what I'm going to do is pry open this side. And there, there's the battery. As you can see, it wasn't that difficult to get to, which means all I have to do is just simply replace the battery with a new one. This battery is most likely malfunctioned and it doesn't work anymore. So just simply pull it out and replace it with a new one. But I don't think I want to do that. As you can see, this is a lithium ion battery, which means I can probably do something with the lithium in a future project. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is continue to tear these headphones down and simply take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw. Now an obvious interesting thing about this, this side here uses torque screws, so it's not really meant for an average consumer to open this side of the headphones. An average consumer is meant to open this side of the headphones for the obvious reason to change the battery. So basically, this product here of whoever made it was aware that their batteries will fail, so then all you had to do was just simply buy the batteries to replace it in order to get it to work. But that's not my intentions in this video. I could have easily done that, and that way I would still use these headphones, but I found some better audio equipment, so I have no reason for these headphones anymore. So what I'm going to use is this 1.3 torque screw, and remove these 1.3 torque screw bits these screws. Alright, so now I just simply unscrew just like that. There we go, just like that. And now, since I'm wanting to salvage for parts, I don't really care about cutting the speaker out nor care about the microphone cutting it out. Okay, so now I can go ahead, go over here, and open up the board here, remove the screws. smallest screwdriver. Useful. Let's see here. Let's simply there we go. Hmm. And there you have it. And there you have it. There 
here's the, uh, and there you have it, here's the board. And here's all the components that I found useful for this device. As you can see, I have these two speakers that are very useful for future projects. I'm not going to use these speakers along with this uh, board here because uh, I want to do something that's a little bit more different. Probably use a bigger speaker with a audio amplification board so that way I can have some louder speakers that will be driven by an audio amplification board and using this board to transfer the signal from my computer which this USB device will connect to my computer to send information such as music over to this board and to connect into some different speakers that are bigger and with an audio amplification board so that might be a future project that I'll for sure do and these two little speakers could be very useful for other little projects probably for small little handheld gadget type projects not really sure what I'll do, but I'll do something interesting with these two speakers. It may not be two speakers together, it could be just one speaker per project, possibly. This little microphone right here can also be very useful to use for possible boom meters or audio rec recordings or any kind of little listening device, possibly. Not really sure, but I'll do something interesting with this little microphone. And then, of course, some screws. These screws can be very useful for future projects to be good to attach things together. What's wrong with having screws? Screws are always useful to have. So, yeah. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a basic RF or radio frequency headphones and what kind of components that are useful and worth salvaging. And an idea for in case you want to repair it too by just simply replacing a battery. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, go to the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. To the next tech. Goodbye.